Tw oh, 23 after the hour, foosball or football. It will take center stage for the world in the next few weeks when two teams come together for the Super Bowl. And if you're throwing a party uh, on that fateful night where you want to make sure the food you're serving is a touchdown, we'll have more cliches and we'll also have some tips here. And it's party going is uh, going to be all kinds of fun. Denise Schultz here. She's joining us with the Junior League of Tampa's cookbook, which has some great recipes in it. The we best do. part about uh, the tailgating party or the party around the house, of course, is the food most of the time, right? Absolutely. It right. sure is. So we're going to make a couple dishes today. We're gonna these can be found in the cookbook. Today. All of these okay. recipes can be found in the Capture the Coast cookbook. Okay. So we're going to start off with um, beef tenderloin sliders. Oh, interesting. All right. So yes. we, we uh, we're going to put the, the beef just in a plastic bag. Make a marinara sauce. We have some tequila to get it off started <laughs> right. right now, will this tequila burn off the alcohol after a while? Uh, I mean, after you. Uh, oh, you Just mean the yes. cooking? Yes, yes. absolutely. Okay, and here we have uh, thyme, lemon juice, lemon zest. So we're just going to mix it together. Okay. Very nice. And you can actually put cuts in it? Yes, you may. And I helped. Can we yes. shake it, mate? Yes. Yeah. All right. Is that you're doing so good? You're good at that, yeah. You're, oh, I love shaking the meat. Let me tell you something, huh? <laughs> <laughs> And then we're, I'm going to take it from you. Now right. we're just going to put it in the uh, fridge, let it marinate for at least two hours. Okay. You can even do it overnight. Uh, then we're going to cook it for about 20 minutes. And depending on how cook rare it you or, want uh, it. Like throw it on the, um, the grill or what do you do? You could grill it. Okay. I actually put this in the oven. Okay. So uh, in the interim, you're also going to mix together mayonnaise, All right. some sour cream, roasted go. garlic, and some more. Is there any substitute for mayonnaise? Uh, actually, I'd say with this one, just leave it out. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not a mayonnaise fan. I know. All right, I know. lay that in there for us. And then we Denise. have some Worcestershire sauce, some more thyme, and this just makes a little sauce for you. And then we're just going to layer it on. All right. Looks and just great. put the meat on. Okay. Now, I'm not, I, I don't eat meat, so does anybody want to, uh, Don, Donnie will come over here and try this out for us, and we'll get his opinion on this. Well, we, oh, we got to more garnish a much better one. Oh, there we go. Well, look at that. And then you garnish it with, uh, with a pickle. A little pickle. Yeah. Donnie, you're welcome to it. Now, I'll accompany that also with the mayonnaise. <laughs> I say mayonnaise because you had to remind me of a data salad that there's mayonnaise, right? Yes, yes. And this is the Wright's potato salad that's also found in the cookbook. So it's really easy to make and you can do it the night before. All right. So okay. the next thing we're going to make really quick is actually got like 30 seconds. Uh, it's just a layered shrimp dip. It's really, really easy. You basically just put everything in, okay. layer it up, All right. and we can just show you the finished product too. Which is right, right, right here. here. Oh, right here. Look yep. at this. And you know what's nice about these, Denise, is believe it or not, with these, the little, you can actually do a Catholic ceremony. There you go. All right. Very, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> And there's no mayonnaise in that. No mayonnaise, but thank you very much. No Get this problem. book. You'll love it. It's got excellent recipes. And more information is on our website, dailybuzznation.com. Thanks, Denise. Thank you.